Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome back to some more Hero Craft here on the channel. That is right, we are back with some more Hero Craft and we are back at our home like we usually are when we start off the episode. But yeah, we are back with some more Hero Craft and I did a little bit of off camera work uh, with our potato farm. Now I didn't do like work on it, I just uh, did a run through of it and cleared all of the potatoes out and then traded with Phil the farmer so we got a ton of emeralds. And uh, we now have 33 blocks of emeralds. So we're going to be using some of this in this episode. So I think we'll just take 8 blocks uh, for now. We don't need that many. But uh, we're going to turn this into some emeraldes. And then we're going to go talk to Larry the Librarian. Uh, who's all the way over here. So hello Larry. How are you doing today? And we're going to start off this episode by buying a bunch of bookshelves because we need a couple of bookshelves for our one room that we're making down in our base with our zombie spawner so I think we'll get like 16 of them and that should be pretty good so just a couple more Larry uh, are you gonna give us any more Larry come on oh we can now buy name tags that's pretty awesome that was one thing I was looking for from Larry well I guess we can buy one name tag right now uh, and then we can have him refresh his trade once more and then we can buy the rest of the bookshelves from him so there we go 17 more bookshelves and I guess now all I gotta do is head over to my zombie spawner so I'm gonna head through the nether and our nether passageway and then I guess I'll see you guys once I'm at the spawner alrighty guys so we are now in our spawner area and here we are in our enchantment room so we have 17 bookshelves so I guess I will just try to figure out a nice pattern for it uh, we can get rid of that torch right there and uh, put it up here which hopefully doesn't mess with the levels I don't think it would but if it does then I'll just have to fix it some other time but there we go we got that and then that I guess I don't really know I just like spamming down bookshelves it's definitely something fun to do uh, so there we go we got that 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 all right well it's not completely even right now but we got a lot more bookshelves now in here so it looks pretty cool I actually really like this room we have to get a ceiling on it but uh, yeah we got some more bookshelves in here and let's see if it's still yep it's still level 30 so that's pretty awesome so uh, yeah we got that going for us at the start of this episode as always guys a diamond a day keeps the creepers away and we actually have eight diamonds on us today so we better not be dealing with any creepers anytime soon but uh, eight diamonds today so we better be keeping those creepers away and uh, yeah look at that our first two we ended up getting two quads can we keep the quads going nope a single all right well then another quad wow this is this is really good luck okay a triple and a single and another single and what about this one a double all right so eight diamonds we got 20 from it I'm pretty happy with that that's pretty awesome and now we get to add these to our diamond count I also got these ores off camera that I just randomly found so I'm just gonna break them right here see how much we can get of that as well look at that 60 lapis from just four blocks wow that's actually pretty crazy but uh, yeah I just had those that I had accidentally mined with my soap touch so there we go we got those with the fortune as well so look at that guys we now have over two stacks of diamonds that's pretty crazy and everything else is pretty crazy as well with all the iron we have and all the lapis and all the gold it's looking pretty good on our valuable side of things so I'm pretty happy with that and uh, it's pretty awesome alrighty guys so we're back in our mob spawner area I know it's kind of weird we keep going back and forth and back and forth and it actually takes me a, quite a while uh, to go through the passage but I want to get level 30 uh, so I came back here so let's uh, use this thing up hopefully we can get level 30 from the amount of zombies that are in here but look at all this rotten flesh we have we have over uh, two rows in this chest right here and we actually have a lot in this chest as well I moved it just so I can make room so we basically have a full chest right now of rotten flesh so one villager that we could get uh, to uh, get some emeralds from these rotten flesh. I think it's called a cleric villager. Uh, it's what the priest used to be, uh, but I think it's called a cleric now. So we could get that. Uh, we just have to be able to breed our villagers to get it. So hopefully we can get that in the future and get a ton of emeralds from all this stuff. But I do want to enchant this pickaxe because we are going to be clearing out a lot of stuff today. So look at that. Efficiency 4. Perfect. Let me grab up some lapis in here. Good thing I brought my lapis down here last episode. But uh, yeah, let's put this in here. Put that in there and uh, see if we get... I'm breaking 3. Oh, look at that! That's awesome! Another uh, Fortune 3 pickaxe. Now, I really don't care that it's Fortune 3. Uh, I just needed the Efficiency 4, so that's pretty awesome. But we will be using this today, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alrighty, so I actually have the game audio all the way down right now because we do have these zombies and they make quite a bit of noise. So I'm sorry if you uh, like hearing zombie noises and everything in the background, but I have the game audio down right now just because of that. But uh, if we look through here, I actually have a little bit of a hallway uh, outside of our nether portal. We will be uh, making quite a big room out of this. Uh, Alrighty guys, so I actually have the game volume off right now just because of the zombies. They make a ton of noise. But the reason why I made this pickaxe is because I'm going to be clearing out 
quite a big space because I do want to make an area down here for us to live in. Uh, it's not going to be a permanent base. I think we make it into a pretty cool AFK base. So while I'm down here trying to get levels, uh, we can have some other machines going. But I do need a big room for this all to go down. So I will be clearing out a big room, and that's why we made this pickaxe today. So hopefully we can get a big room. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get working on that. So hopefully it can look pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so this actually hasn't turned out to be the greatest idea. Uh, I've had some struggles while I was clearing out this room, and it's actually a pretty big room. It's a uh, 25 by 25 by 10, so it's pretty big uh, for a room, but I want this to be like our headquarters and everything, so I'm clearing it out, and we've run into some problems with lava and with like gravel and everything. I don't have a shovel on me, and so I went back to my house, got fire resistance, uh, but I keep forgetting to bring other stuff with me. I've got a full inventory, so I think that I'm going to take a break from this for a while. Uh, we'll come back to it, but one thing that I do want while I'm clearing this out is like some sort of... Uh, oh, this is my little base that I have set up right now just for uh, storage and everything. But I do want some sort of beacon uh, so I can actually have... Uh, some haste while I'm clearing out this area so it's a bit faster so I'm actually gonna put all my stuff that I've gotten uh, from this I actually got some diamonds as well they're in this chest right here just so I don't forget about them but I'm actually gonna try to get some wither skeleton skulls in this episode uh, kind of take a break from all of this stuff uh, head back to the house and try to get some wither skeleton skulls in this episode and hopefully we can end up fighting the wither at the end of the episode that's my goal for this episode so I'm gonna head back home grab my looting sword and then I'll meet you guys back in the nether Alrighty guys, so we are here in the nether, and I just marked down the coordinates for our nether portal. I just placed one randomly down in the world, but I did forget an arrow with me, so hopefully we can get an arrow from the skeleton, because I did bring my infinity bow with me, so I only need one arrow. Alright, let's see. We do have our looting sword, so we should get an arrow. Yep, look at that. Four arrows just from one hit one kill with the looting sword all right so now we don't have to worry about arrows which is my favorite thing about the nether now it is really dark for you guys i ended up turning down the brightness on my elgato so i will turn it up for this little nether portion uh, of the video so yeah i will turn it up but i'm just going to be looking for wither skeletons maybe find the stronghold uh that we had a while ago and uh yeah i'll be looking for wither skeletons hopefully we can get some skulls and uh yeah i'm gonna be on the grind for a while i guess all right here we go our first victim let's see if we can get a skull here we go up oh, and overkill what okay oh i know what that's for that's like dealing how much damage do you have to deal for that deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit that's pretty cool that we actually did that so we just got an achievement right there that's pretty cool but no skull real talk guys why the heck is there a chicken on that block what in the world all right it looks like we have a wither skeleton again let's get him ah uh, no skull all right another victim here for us let's see can we get a skull ah uh. Alrighty guys, so I've been a bit unlucky with these wither skeletons. I think I'm actually going to do a time lapse though of all of these wither skeletons. Hopefully I can get two skulls uh, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So I'll just time lapse every time I find a wither skeleton and uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse. I'm not sure how long it will be. Hopefully you guys do all enjoy it, but uh, yeah, let's get into it.
right, so as you saw right there, my fire resistance just went out. And I don't have any more potions on me. Yeah, I don't have any more potions on me. And I actually don't have any water uh, to refill my potions or refill my bottles to make more fire res. So I'm going to be looking here pretty dangerously. I don't want to, like, you know, get shot by gas or something and catch on fire. I do have my full diamond and everything, but I'm also running low on food. I've been doing this for about half an hour. I still haven't gotten a wither skull. I mean, you've seen how many wither skeletons I've killed. I'm gonna try to get one because obviously I have one back at home. So if I can get one today, that'll make me pretty happy. And then maybe in the next episode we can get our other one. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit discouraged. These wither skeletons just aren't dropping skulls, and uh, it's 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 making me a little bit upset. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking and hopefully find uh, at least one skull, maybe two, and uh, then that would be pretty awesome to finish off the wither or the wither in this episode. But yeah. I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to get it. Uh, these wither skeletons aren't being very kind to me. So I'm going to keep looking around. And hopefully I can find them. But I guess I'll continue the time lapse from here. Alrighty guys, well there we have it. Finally have ourselves the Wither Skeleton Skull. That took us forever. We still need one more though. I think I'm gonna head home though. I, I, I need to regather some stuff. Maybe we'll head back at it in this episode. I really don't know, but I think I'm all Wither Skeleton hunted out. Um, but maybe we'll get one on our way back home. I don't know. I only have two apples left, so that's why I'm heading home. If I do get one, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna head back home. I guess I'll see you guys there. Actually, guys, while we have our looting sword on us, I think I'm gonna take on this Enderman. Hopefully we can get a pearl. Oh, gosh! What are you doing? Where did he go? Oh, I see him. Alright. Uh, he's, he's, like, teleporting. He's going places. I'm getting shot at. Where'd the, where'd the Enderman go? Guys, I found the Enderman. Here he is. We gotta get him, though. We gotta get him before before it turns day and he gets afraid of the sun. Get him! Yes, we got two Ender Pearls from that, I think. Let's see. Four Ender Pearls? Are you kidding me? Alrighty, guys, we are finally back home, and boy, has it been a long day. I'm just ready to go to bed. And that's in real life, not in Minecraft. In real life, I am ready to go to bed. I've had a long weekend. Of course, I'm recording this on Sunday. That's when I usually record HeroCraft. I've had a long weekend. Yesterday, I wasn't home. I had a track meet. And uh, today, I've been sleeping for most of the day because I'm still pretty sick. So we're going to do some enchanting here, though. Uh, stop talking about what's going on in real life, IRL. We're going to talk about what's going on in here so we actually can get power four which would move our bow up to power five so i think i'll do that we have 37 levels so we can still do some stuff here with the shovel and the chest plate now the chest plate i kind of want to get i'm breaking three on oh look at that i'm breaking three so now we can combine that with our other chest plate but we still have 30 levels so let's grab some more uh some more lapis to see if we can get anything good on our shovel oh, right here let's just grab up like a little bit more lapis i guess i don't really know we only need three really i don't know why i grabbed six but uh, let's see, what are we going to get on the shovel? Efficiency 4 is kind of what I want. Uh, so let's see, yep, there we go. Efficiency 4 and Fortune 3, which I don't really care about. We don't need the fortune. But that's pretty good for what we've got now, and I'm pretty happy with those enchants. Alrighty, guys, so I'm not sure how much 28 levels is going to get us through this thing. The first thing I want to do, though, is do the chest plate. So let's see, four levels for the chest plate, not too bad at all. Uh, and then we have the bow, so that should only be a couple of levels. Eight levels right there. So how many levels do we have left? 16? Okay, that's not anything. 
So I do want to name this Diamond Sword. Now, a lot of you guys commented a name down below in the comments, and I actually came up with one as you guys were like, or as I was uploading the video, and I don't have my keyboard on me, so I'm actually going to have to type this out. But I'm going to name our sword Excalibur, because this is Herocraft, and if you guys didn't know, the name of King Arthur's sword or whatever is Excalibur. It's, uh, it's the sword in the stone, uh, the sword of the lake, and everything like that. So Excalibur is going to be the name of our sword. Now, I'm pretty sure I named it, or spelled it right. I'm going to look it up just to be sure, and then I'll catch you guys back in a second. Alright, yeah, it is spelled correctly, just like that. So Excalibur is going to be the name of our sword. Sharpness 5, I'm breaking 3, Fire Aspect 2, and Looting 3 as well. So there we go, we got that. We still have 14 levels on us, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, some pretty awesome stuff already, guys. So to end off this episode, I've got 6 TNT on us. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to go, because we have a ton of lava down here, and it's not really going to work out. But this is the area we've been clearing out uh, that's going to be our uh, storage area, like our base uh, for down here at our mob spawner. So we're going to strategically place this TNT just to try to make life a little bit easier for us. Now, I probably won't activate all of it, but this is just going to make life a bit easier uh, for us down here. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do this right here. I think I'm going to stack it all in the middle where all of this lava is. Now, this could be a bad idea or it could be really good. So we're just going to do something like this. It could go pretty badly, uh, but I'm going to hope that it doesn't. So let's uh, let's just go for it and see how it turns out. It could be, could be pretty cool. Uh, it could also be disastrous. All right, let's see how it's gonna go. Oh, the water is coming down. That actually is perfect for any lava that might spill out. So there we go. That's all the damage it did. I wish it would have done a little bit more. Uh, let's cover up this water now that uh, we've we've used it to its advantage. But uh, yeah, I guess the TNT wasn't as powerful as uh, I thought it was going to be. That's a good way. Good way to have an explosive end to this episode, I guess. Hopefully you guys did all enjoy this episode of HeroCraft. Of course, if it was a shorter one, I'm really sorry about it. Uh, I didn't really plan this episode uh, to go on for, like, a really weird timing. I was going to spend most of my episode in this area, and after I realized how hard it was going to be, I didn't really have a plan for it. So I'm sorry that the episode might have been a little bit shorter than usual, but it still was pretty awesome. We did get a lot of work done. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy this episode of HeroCraft. Nonetheless, I'm out for now. Peace.